Hi, it's Grace here, wanting to show you a presentation on these wonderful birds, the barn owls. Introduction, pale, long-winged, long-legged owl. As you can see here with those long, sharp tongues and those big wings. Measures 9 to 18 inches in length. Very small to very tall. Wingspan of very big, taller than its body, 30 to 42 inches. It's most recognizable by its mask-like, heart-shaped face. Introduction. Females tend to be larger and heavier than males. Females are more rufous, orangish, in color with more pronounced spots. Males are wider on the face and chest. Guess which one the male is. If you pick this one, you are correct. Barn owls do, don't hoop as do many owl subspecies. They make a distinctive shrie scream. Hearing. These are the things we're going to cover today. Hearing. Silent flyers. Habitat. Diet. Breathing. Nesting. Climbing numbers and building a nesting box. Hearing. Asymmetrical ears of the barn owl to pinpoint the source of the sound. Basal discs help focus the sound to the air openings. This, along with excellent eyesight, allows them to hunt in total darkness. Its ability to locate prey by sound is the most accurate of any animal tested. And here's a short video. The barn owl locates the direction of a sound in two ways. When the mouse makes a noise, the sound reaches one ear a fraction of a second before it arrives at the other. This minute time difference enables the owl to work out the left-right direction of the mouse. When the mouse is directly in front of the owl, the sound arrives at both ears at exactly the same time. Now it has to calculate if the mouse is above or below if you cut just that collection of feathers in the very center here that help the air flow by smoothly, then you get what we've done here to this owl, which is a stuffed owl that's had just those feathers removed, nothing else. So right here you can see that there are two flaps of skin, and those flaps are directly in front of the ear opening. The ear opening is back here. But they're asymmetrically placed. One is higher than the other one. This one is actually lower than that one. These asymmetric flaps gather the sound from the mouse in different ways. The noise of rustling leaves comes from below the owl. The sound passes under the high flap, which is on the left side of the owl's head, and is reflected by the rough into the ear. The low flap on the right side deflects the sound coming from below. When the sound is louder in the left than the right ear, the owl knows it's coming from below. By combining the up-down with the left-right information, it pinpoints the mouse with great precision. Silent flyers. Barn owls have a major hunting advantage because they are capable of silent flight. The special spikes on the tips of their flight feathers allow air to pass through without making any sound and might alert their prey. No other bird of prey possesses these spikes. Great pictures on here. Here's another video. The mouse, however, has ears of its own. If it hears the owl coming, it can simply run away. There's a fight between owls and mice. Mice have ways to avoid owls. Owls have ways to improve their chances of catching a mouse, and this is one of them. The very leading edge of the feather that is in the front on the wing has a little series of tiny little spikes that stick out on it. No other bird of prey has these spikes. 
the leading edge of an eagle's wing is smooth. As the eagle flies, its wings cut through the air, creating turbulence. This turbulence creates large sound waves, making it noisy in flight. When an owl flies, the tiny spikes on its wings break down the air into smaller spirals called microturbulence. This makes the flight of the owl quieter. Habitat. The barn owl is widely distributed on lives on every continent except Antarctica because it's freezing there. It has even been introduced by people to some of the few places it does not already inhabit, like Hawaii, the most place on Earth. Found in diverse habitats such as grasslands, deserts, marshes, and fields. Diet. Most hunting is done before midnight. Small mammals, rodents such as mice and voles are our favorite food source. They are consumed to six per night. Breeding. Clutch size is 2 to 18 dull white eggs. Chicks hatch out helpless and covered with white down. They are vulnerable to mobbing, attacked by crows. Adults mostly mate for life and can breed year-round. Raise two or more broods per year. Nesting. Nests in trees, ho tree ho hollow trees, cliff cavities, buildings, like barns, of course, the barn owl, and nesting box boxes. Its cup like nest is made of shredded owl pellets, which is basically disgusting. Kind of numbers. Barn owls are common, but their pop barn owls are common, but their populations in the Midwest. And these dropped dramatically between the 1970s and 2000 due to loss of habitat. And over here we have a range chart of the barn owl. Good populations are the dark blue, right here in that big group. <laughs> Bear populations are also in a group. So is the yellow species special concern. And then endangered, the red states. And that's so far arrangement. They are listed as endangered in some states, but according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature, their overall conservation status is listed at least concerns. Nesting box programs have helped increase populations in some areas. Building a nesting box. Nesting boxes are very effective in means of attracting mating pairs of barn owls. Barn owls provide eco-friendly, affordable rodent control. One pair of barn owls and their offspring can consume up to a thousand rodents per year. One nesting box covers 10 acres of land and instructions and plans readily available online. Click here for a list of resources. Okay. Then we have the owl cages are great site for like links for things. Things for great horned owl, boxes, burning owls, barn owls, a whole bunch of different nest box and tunnels for burning owls and stuff. Great site. In summary, amazing hearing allows them to hunt in total darkness. Due to special adaptations to their feathers, the flight is almost Totally silent, making them effective stealth hunters. They are found on every continent except Antarctica. They can consume up to six small rodents per night, which is a lot. Can mate year-round and raise two broods per year. In summary, again, they nest in hollow trees, cliffs, barns, and nesting boxes. While common in the U.S., they are endangered in some states. These box programs have incre help increase their numbers. They prefer eco-friendly, affordable rodent control. A thousand rodents per year, per family. Instructions for building barn owl nesting boxes are easily found online. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about these amazing raptors. Your questions inspire my research. Let's learn together. Email your questions to barnowlinfo 
at gmail.com. And here are some barn owl researches. Wikipedia, the encyclopedia, Barn Owl Lab of Ornithology, Owl Pages, the Barn Owl Trust, conservating the Barn Owl in its environment, great resources for learning about and dis discussing all types of birds, my favorite website, whatbird.com, and of course the world-famous Molly the Barn Owl live nest cam, so cool.